Hi, in this video I'll show you how to perform a keyword search on two columns. Let's say for example I have a three column table. I want to do a keyword search on this column, the name column, and the car make column. Right now I have a dash here, so it's looking for anything that has a dash. But if I type something like geo, press enter, right click, refresh, it'd bring back this entry for geo. Now if I type something for Ford, press enter, right click, refresh, you'll bring back all the instances of Ford. You can see that I have Ford here, but there's not a Ford there, but there's a name, Carlota Ford there. Now this is not case sensitive, so if I change the case down here, if I change that to FORD, oops, F, FORD, and let's go back up to the table here, right click, refresh, you notice that name disappears. So it has to be case in case sensitive. Type in Ford, it'll only bring back that one record. Right click, refresh. And this can be mitigated. I'll show you how we can make our search in case insensitive. But let's see how we can perform this two column keyword search. Now we're in a new sheet here. I've got my range of data here and also my keyword text here. I'm going to turn this range of data into a table. Go to insert table. My table does have headers. Click OK. And I'll call this one data. Press enter. Here, I'll select these two cells here. Also make that a table. Go to insert table again. My table does have headers. That first row is a header. And I'll call this one key. Now I'm going to bring this into Power Query. Go to data from table and range and just bring it in as a connection only. It's there, just click close and low, click close and low to, and just make sure it's a connection, click OK. Do the same thing for my keyword, but I'm gonna do a little bit more transformation here. Select this, and from table and range. And right now, I'm gonna right click, select drill down. So all I want is that one value. Click close and load. This will be the same thing as a connection only to like similar like the data table, we're going to make this connection only. Click OK. And now I'm going to select this and make it a reference because maybe we want to add to this table later on or change it. So I'm going to reference it. Right click, reference. Here what we're going to do is we're going to add a column. So we're going to add column, conditional column. So what we're going to do with this column is say if this car make column contains the word key. I'm going to change this later on because what it's going to look, it's looking for right now is the word key. But what we want to do is we want to bring back the values of that key table, that key query. But I'm going to just leave it key right now. And my output, I want to select the column. I want to bring back that car make column. And add another rule. And if the name also contains key, then bring back that name column. Oops, not email, name. Else, blank. Click OK. And you can see here it's all null right now. right? And what I want to do here is I want to go into the code here. This is the M code, table.addColumn. And I want to remove those quotes because key is representative of my query. That key query, if I open this, I want to have that name. So whatever I name that query, I want to put it in here. So I just either delete the quotes, I'll just delete the whole thing. And I'll show you what IntelliSense does. The IntelliSense is Microsoft's kind of like a smart uh, suggestion um, feature. So it, it looks at the key and it brings it back there, that query. Do the same thing for this one. I can just delete the quotes here since I've already showed you that. So it's going to bring back that key query. OK, it looks like it did. Go ahead and click home, click close and load. Whoops, I forgot to do one thing is bring it into the table. Right click, let's click load to, and we want to load this as a table. Let's put it over here in cell M1. Click OK. And right now, it's pulling everything because it's blank. Let's see if we put in some value. Let's put in geo. Right click, refresh.
and it pulled in geo and everything else is no so we have to do one more thing and we got to filter out the nulls so I'm gonna go double click to go back in there and in here I will filter out the nulls so now it only took geo but you see that this is something that we probably need to change later on we need to change this to say not equal to geo because if I changed it later on you'll see it doesn't really work as well right if I change the keyword you see it brought, only brought back geo here if I change the keyword and call it Jeep and right click refresh you notice there's nothing here because double click that it's filtering out just for geo and we need to change that so you can see when we have our filter here it has only geo and what we want to do is we want to change it to say it does not equal no you can say we can select it to pick everything except no click OK and now you've noticed it's changed it it's changed it to say it doesn't equal no click close and load so it'll pick out anything that doesn't equal null now as part of that code if I change this to uh, Ford we'll get we'll get back into this Ford case sensitive entry now so if I click Ford right click refresh you notice that it brought back all the Fords right but if we ch if we looked at Ford here that entry should be there if I change that to capital F press enter you notice that we picked it up here if I refresh this table right click refresh it'll pick up Ford there but let's not change people's last names in terms of their uppercase lowercase because that doesn't work we're gonna change our commands here or our query here right click right click this refresh and we're gonna change it to pick up that lowercase for it so let's go back into the query double click and in the advanced editor we're gonna go to the advanced editor for that step where we had had that additional column and where we have this key here we're gonna add so an argument and in this argument comma the IntelliSense comes up again and it gives us a hint on what we need to add so we're gonna add an additional part of this function called compare dot ordinal ignore case click on that and it's gonna ignore the case settings for when it does the search and we'll do the same thing for our other if function here compare compare ordinal case double click that click done and now we have that in there so you can see once we hit enter it's already picked up that lower case there click close and load and now it's going to pick it up there you see it picked up Ford so I've got other entries here so let's say I decide to add let's just copy this Con control C to copy escape go into here the cell control V to paste press enter right click and refresh and now we have our two records here and I have another one here let's call this let's do Ferrari let's find for press escape let's find Ferrari here I rather just copy and paste it rather than try to type it all out Ferrari is over here control C to copy escape let's go here control V to paste press enter and right click refresh close this pane here you can see we picked up Ferrari here and we picked up Marissa Ferrari because that's part of the name if we didn't want this custom column here we can do what we can do is remove that so go to data my queries connections double click that and maybe the last step here is we don't need this custom column we just right click remove so we click close and load and it'll disappear so all we have is our original three columns but it's done the keyword search go ahead and type forward back here it'll find those instances where it's uppercase and lowercase right click refresh and we see you can see Ford here even though there's a Toyota there but Ford is in the other column so this is a way that we can do a keyword search on a multiple column table now if you had more than two columns maybe we have like 10 columns that would be kind of cumbersome to do all those if statements so there's another way you can probably do that I'll probably do another video about that but if we kind of have minimal columns two three maybe four columns this can be something that can be done with that conditional column and that's the way you can do a keyword search on 
two, three, or maybe four columns. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.